the morning or whatever time it is where you are. This is my first day in like a week drinking decaf coffee again. So hopefully I don't look too tired. But in today's devlog, devlog 1.2, we're gonna be working on the Migraine app again. And today we're working on the notes page and the notes for doctor page. So one of the differences besides just one being for the doctor and one being for you is that the notes page is gonna live on just in that day. So when you record an attack, uh, you'll put in some notes and those notes will be gone from the main notes page tomorrow, but you'll be able to go back to them in the calendar view for yesterday's attack. Whereas the doctor notes are gonna live on until you delete them. So that way you can just put in all your notes there and then when you go to your doctor, you can say whatever you wrote down. Um, one of the main things I would like to do with the notes and doctor notes page pages, they're quite easy to do. Like all I need to do is like have a text box basically um, and then just save it. But one thing I would like to do is make it marked down. So I'm not gonna do this if it's too much of a pain in the ass. I don't wanna spend too much time on it and I don't think it's really necessary for most users. Actually, I think most users aren't even gonna know what markdown is and be able to use it effectively. But I would like to make it an option for those people who do know what it is and would like to use it. Uh, so basically what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna go on pub.dev, I already have it pulled up here, and I'm just gonna search for an already made markdown editor for Flutter that I can just kind of pop right in there and not have to build my own. If I have to build my own, I think I will eventually do it, but not before the app is released. I'll make that a feature in the future. Uh, so right now I'm just gonna go on to pub.dev and see if we can find something. All right, so what I found is that there seems to be several markdown editors, but they all kind of seem to be based on this one simple markdown editor. So I think this is the one I'm gonna use, even though it hasn't been updated in like 11 months. And that's definitely one of the things that I look at when I look at packages. But I also think it's one of those things where you probably don't really need to do many updates. So once it's made, it's kind of just there. As long as Flutter doesn't break it, then it's good to go. So hopefully that's the case. I'm gonna try it out. So we're gonna import this to our project and then make a view for the simple, or for the regular notes page. We'll do doctor's notes later and we'll use this markdown editor for it. So basically it's just gonna be a, a new page with the uh, header bar at the top and the rest is gonna be Markdown Editor. It's not gonna have anything fancy in there. And then there will just be like a, there won't even be like a save or anything like that button. There might be a delete all, but probably not. You can just backspace it or select it all and delete it. So I think you'll just hit the back arrow, it'll automatically be saved, and then you'll be good to go. All right, it looks like that's about it. So I created the notes page. It was super easy, this markdown form field. There's emoji converter, there's a toolbar, and um, it's pretty cool. So when I click here, then I can just like select some text and it's got like this toolbar at the top so I could do a strike through or whatever, or a header, and H1, H2, H3, it's pretty dope. And then there's emojis here too, which is pretty cool. Um, and then if you go here, you can do view. So then you've got the, the viewing mode instead of the editing mode. 
I find it pretty dope. I really like it. So, uh, and it's also super easy for somebody who doesn't want to do markdown. So basically, let me just select everything here. If I just delete everything that I have, and when somebody first sees this page, if they know nothing about markdown, it's just gonna say type here and then they can just take their notes like normal and they'll never know that it was a markdown editor. But they also might see the bold text here and stuff and notice, you know, recognize that from Microsoft Word or whatever and be able to do that if they want. But yeah, I find it pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna do the same for the doctor's notes page. But first I have to make sure that all of this, what's input gets saved uh, to the day. Uh, class or whatever so I'm gonna do that really quick and then we should be done with the notes page All right, so I got the saved working, I'm pretty sure, but it doesn't actually work yet because I need to set the text when the notes page opens to be whatever is already saved. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that now. I thought I would just do it with the controller. I probably do, I'm probably just messing something up, but I'm gonna keep going. Hive is throwing an error. Keys need to be strings or integers, so gotta get that worked out. And I already know what I'm doing. I just flipped the way that I'm saving it to hide. I put the data first and then the key, but it needs to be key and then data. So that was a really stupid mistake and I just need to flip that and I should be good. It works perfectly fine now. So I have completed the first uh, task to create the notes page. The notes page is done. Now we need to do almost exactly the same thing for the doctor's page. So I'm basically just gonna copy and paste this, but instead of saving it to day data, we're gonna save it to app data. So it's perpetual, it won't just be for the day. And I'm gonna get into that, but first I'm going with my wife to a electronic store to look at some cell phones, and then I've gotta make some lunch. And I also have to try out these uh, snow tire, or like snow chain things for the tires of our car that I got for when we're going to Sweden in a month or so, or actually just a few weeks, hopefully. So yeah, I'm gonna do all of that, and then I'll be back here to work on the doctor's page.
All right, so I am back now and I'm ready to jump into Notes for Doctor. And I think it's gonna be super easy, it doesn't require much explanation, so we'll just move it over to the doing section and we'll jump right into it. Notes for Doctor is done, so that's really dope. Now we got both the notes pages done. It really didn't take much time today. Everything went pretty smoothly, which is, again, just like last week, like super uncommon in programming, but really nice when it happens. But stick with these videos, stick with me in making this migraine app, and I'm sure you'll see me run into all kinds of issues. Um, next week, we're actually probably gonna be shifting a little bit into a Devlog Zero series. So this is Devlog One. The version at the beginning, like one point whatever, the one means the app that I'm working on. So in this case, one is the migraine app and the Zero series is gonna be like a bug fixing series. So I just recently found in Tide, the period tracking app that is already in the App Store, my last app. Uh, there's some bugs in it that I really need to fix. And before I continue with this migraine app, I gotta really help out my users who are using Tide and get that stuff done. And so in the next video, we're gonna be working on those bugs. And then the next one after that, we'll be jumping back into the migraine app. So. You can skip the bug fixes if you want, but I think that bug fixes are like a huge part of programming and they're also pretty interesting and problem solving is always a bit frustrating and fun. So I hope I see you for the bug fixes next week and thank you for watching. Have a great day.